Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights, the core campaign. I'm Josh, and today we're starting off uh, going through the quest that we got from the cleric Nurik, and we're hunting werewolves. I greet you. If you uh, talk to these folks here, these are the parents of one of the boys that got bitten, and they'll warn you away from their home, tell you not to go near the stairs. But that means they're hiding something. And then the mother calls out to their son, knowing that there's a werewolf up here. I'm going to take some precautions. But just a small few. Do I have any potions before I begin this? Nope. Well. Oops, wrong bag. Uh, I have a potion of bark skin. That could help my armor class. Alright. So, the one thing I had made mention before was yeah. I don't have a silver weapon. So I'm not going to be able to hurt him. I forgot yeah. that in the original Neverwinter Nights, yeah. the items don't have uh, metal types. That was something they implemented in the second game. Yeah. So uh, really, the, the damage reduction that werewolves get versus anything that's not silver is yeah. not implemented. Yeah. And it looks like the, our defenses are holding up pretty well. I was kind of worried that since this was a one-on-one -on -one fight, I'd be a little overmatched. But it seems like I'm okay. Okay, and then once you hurt the werewolf enough, it'll stop. Don't hurt me anymore. The wolf spirit is gone. And you can talk to them. Hi there. Why have you come here? My parents told you to leave, didn't they? Did they also tell you how horrible this is? Can you, you just leave me alone? Uh, who are you? My name is Earth, and I've been infected with lycanthropy. That's why I'm hiding here, so no one has to see this. I have some silver charms. Will you use one? Why not just kill me outright? Why ask me to do it myself? But these are cures. They'll restore you. Cures? To be honest, I'd rather die with hope than without. Give me your charm. It... it worked. I can feel it. Thank you so much. Here. Take my ring and bring it to Nurik so he knows I'm all right. Now that this ordeal is over, I think I need a vacation. A long one. Farewell and thank you. And that's the first werewolf cured. We're going to look around real quick, see if there's anything. And there's a chest back here. Let's take a look what's inside. Uh, just a bit of gold, so we'll leave that to these folks. There's no need. And come down here, and we'll talk to Mr. Eisenfeld. I greet you. You've done the three of us the, a favor. A fine favor, lad. And I'd like you to have something that's been in our family a while. "'Twas great-grandfather's sickle. It was always seemed too beautiful to be used for simple harvest work." <laughs> My, that's very thing- er, very... kind of you. Uh, that's more than enough. May the gods bless you. May the winds be ever at your back, my friend. And that's the first werewolf down. And because we didn't demand more gold, we actually got alignment points for that. So, that was helpful. Alright.
right, so... We have a request from Ballard, the resident port last druid, to investigate the Neverwinter Woods. So, we're gonna go that direction first. Yes, good guard dog. You are keeping people safe. Alright, so we head down the east road. Okay, so the one thing about this area, as I'm coming in, hey, is so it is full of tree. trolls. So I need to be very careful not to aggro a ton of these things, apparently. So, trolls are uh, a giant creature, and they have regeneration. Usually you can deal with their regeneration by hitting them with fire or acid, and that suppresses the regeneration for a turn. Uh, this wasn't really implemented until the second Neverwinter Nights game, though, so now you just have to wail on them enough to drop them. But in the second game, you do have to uh, finish them off with either an acid or fire attack. Okay, and this one's about done. that troll. So, oh, and it dropped something, so let's grab that. Oh, potion of bull strength, excellent. Alright, so I'm going to do a little exploring, but I'm going to be careful to try and not aggro not a bunch of them. Nope, there's a second troll there. think I can't deal with two trolls, so I'm gonna go pick up Daylin. I had a hard enough time with a single troll. I have been waiting for you. I suspected you would return. Do you need me to join with you once more? Yes, please. My blade is yours to command. Alright, let's go, Daylin. Oops. We got some trolls to deal with. Okay, Dalen's already working out for me. He's uh, absorbing some of the hits that I was taking before. We'll definitely need to look for better armor. Okay, and... Just because I don't feel like putting Dalen back, and... I don't feel like leaving him just somewhere random. I'm going to keep him on for now. Plus, there is the possibility that I run into a nest of trolls again, too. Okay, I saw one up here, so let's hit it with a long range attack. Get it started. Yep, and there was a nest of trolls. spell has dropped one troll and severely injured the rest, yeah. so we should be able to finish this off with uh, only a little bit of difficulty. Okay, I want to get out my Staff of Curing and cure Daylin up a bit. 
and myself. Okay. And then we can continue on. Oh, and there's some remains. A bit of gold, never a bad thing to find. Right. Uh, we do need some fenberries for later, so I'll grab a couple of those now. Okay, this looks like it was a trashed caravan of some kind. No, Dalen, do not break it. I shall do as you ask. Now yeah, there's only a bottle of ale in there. Let's see what the garbage has. The garbage has a bit of gold. Alright, so continuing on. Uh, it was over here. In just a cliff area. Okay. And that leads back to the entrance we came in, so let's just follow the road for the moment. Okay, that leads over to that road, so we'll enter this barricaded area, and since there are trolls about, we'll close this door. Okay, this looks like it's a group of archaeologists. Let's see if uh, anything important. Shall do as you ask. And nothing important, so we'll leave it be. Alright, so come over here and talk to Jax. Uh, attack! What? What? Oh, 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 uh, oh. Oh, well, you don't look like. Oh, oh, never mind. You seem nervous. What's your name? My name is Jax, Professor Jax, a famous archaeologist, don't you know? I'm looking for knowledge about some ancient creatures. That's why I came here. Who are you? My name is Kigro Hegwood, and I am interested in hearing more about these creatures. Oh, a fellow scholar are you? Let me tell you about my research. I am talking about a creator race. Very fascinating, actually. I believe they lived thousands of years ago. And I think one of their ruins lies somewhere around here. So you're looking for dead things? No, no, no. I'm looking for proof of the existence of this race. You see, some fellow archaeologists and I were hunting through the cave systems in the area to find an entrance to some ruins that lie beneath them. It was a marvelous expedition, or so it seemed. We figured there should be lots of treasure in tomes created by this race, but when, then we were attacked by the trolls and ogres. Trolls and ogres? Tell me more about them. I was studying a rock formation in one of the caves when they attacked us. We had some gods with us, and they were holding the ogres off, but the trolls killed them as easily as children. Uh, what did you do then? We ran for our lives. The gods gave us enough time for a few of us to get away, but not enough. Not nearly enough. I'm sorry for your grief. All that death has come to nothing. So many sacrifices and we still don't have the proof I need about the creator race. Uh, tell me about this creator race. Not too much is known about them. They were very powerful and it is speculated that they fought for control of Toril against the dragon. How long ago did this supposedly take place? You sound like the supposed scholars in Waterdeep, always sneering in disbelief. This happened over 10,000 years ago, even before the first human civilization of the Netheril came into power. They used powerful spells, creating magical effects and items that can only be dreamed of now. 
that their gods have limited its use. What kind of treasure are you suggesting? Uh, well, if they were powerful enough to contend with dragons, as I think they were, then they must have had some powerful magic items. Not to mention wealth. The trolls might have some treasure too. And do you think you can prove this race existed? If they were as advanced as I think they were, then they should have left behind some writings. If I could get my hands on a book that proves these ruins were built by the creator race, then I could get the rest of my grant money. I need to find the complete history of the ruins. What is the grant money for? The money goes to pay for gods, supplies, and equipment, as well as the expertise of other researchers. Without that money, I cannot learn more. That is why it's so important I find this proof. proof. I could help you look for this tome. Oh my lord, that would be wonderful. And since I need this for my own financial gain, I would pay you 500 gold pieces, and you can keep any treasure you find. Here is a key for the barracks. You can talk to my colleagues inside for more information. Uh, it would be just fine. Thank you. Uh, just find that tome that pr proves the creator race existed and that they built these ruins. Bring it back to me as quickly as you can. Alright, I'm off. Be careful, lad. This has turned out to be a very difficult operation. Good luck. Alright, and with Jax giving us some information, we're going to talk to some of the people inside. The first is Revit. Hello there. Momo. Oh, you not Momo. Oh, me in big trouble. Sounds bad. What's your name? Me name be Revit. Who be you? Uh, call me Kigro. I glad meet you, Kigro. Me wish could be on happy day. What's so terrible about today? Me mama be stole by trolls yeah. me need get her back or me in big trouble mama be good archaeologist you know digs for old stuff person me be her helper me protects her only me not be so good gods. why what went wrong me talking with other guard then look back mama gone me not worry much she goes sometimes and then she come back then we hear sounds, like mad dogs. We turn around, and there be trolls and ogres. And the trolls that Jax told me about. Yes, nasty trolls. Ugly ogres. So we get ready and start to fight. Monsters kill most guards, but me fight brave. Then troll hit me in head and cut me. I no longer can see with blood and eyes. Then Jax grab me hand and lead me out of caves. Me lucky to survive. No one else here help me, and me afraid go back in dark cave. Me must wait here. Hope she come back. Uh, don't worry, I'll save her for you. Oh, you good man. You find me mama, me tell you what me know. They have me mama in cave near here. She be nice and sweet, except when she grab ears and yell at you for plate breaking, or milk spilling, or peas not eating. Fidgeting her, but me not supposed to talk about her like that. Here, I give you ring to show Mama. This is me daddy ring from when he die. Me not know him, but Mama say he nice quiet man. Me friends say he nagged to death, but me not understand what that mean. Go quick and help Mama be safe. Uh, I'll do what I can. Go quick and save Mama. Me wait for you here. All right, so we're going to help out Revit and save his mother. And then there's this gentleman. Well met. What do you want? <sighs> My apologies, sir. I'm in a foul temper today. How can I help you? Uh, who are you? My name is Lenton. Now, what's your name? Uh, my name's Kegro. Fine. So, like I said, what do you want? Let's put you in this mood. How about we start with create a race to obsess Jax and a stupid expedition to find the ruins that don't exist? Uh, you 
don't think the runes exist. Oh, I did. Jax had me totally convinced, but we searched through cavern after cavern, and you know what we found? Nothing? Blast, I wish we had found nothing. We found trolls and ogres, hordes of trolls and their pet ogres. No ancient creatures, no tombs, no tomes, just trolls and ogres. We were studying this unusual rock formation because Jax thought it might be special, but it wasn't. Suddenly I hear this scream. I turn around. There's this huge troll holding my brother, Drokus, by one leg. It dangles him upside down and then it, it bites his head off. Oh, I'm sorry. That's horrible. I don't need your pity. I need your help. The one that ate my brother was obviously the leader. He started pointing and snarling, and a whole tribe, whatever you're supposed to call a group of trolls, rushed out and started to attack us. Only a few of us escaped from those caves. I want someone to go back there and wipe out every one of those trolls, especially the big one. This sounds like an important job. I'll do it. Excellent. Bring me the troll chieftain's head and I will pay you 300 gold. Eh, alright. I'm off. Okay. Good luck and happy hunting. Alright. So we've got another quest. And then there's one more thing we need to do. There's one more researcher that we need to talk to, and there she is. The rage of the red tiger unleash! Oh, but she has attacked us. All right, all right, I surrender. Let us stop this fight. I cannot win. I cannot defeat you, try as I might, though fighting you was not my desire. And now I would only ask that you show mercy and let me leave defeated. Uh, who are you? <laughs> oh my, all this fighting and you don't even have a reason to kill me. And here I thought you were a bounty hunter. Well, I am, but go on. Then again, perhaps you are. Either way, my name is Delilah. I'd say it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, but I'm sure you are you understand the truth. Uh, Delilah, you're one of the escaped convicts I've been told about. So, you do know about me. It appears that try as I might, I cannot escape my past, and I will never have freedom. Uh, your past? Freedom? What do you mean? I was locked away in prison many years ago. I will not defend my past, and yes, I understand what I did was despicable. Not that I really cared. I did it. It helped me get by, so I escaped prison. Perhaps I, if I would go back to my old life, perhaps I'd start it over anew. To me, it matters little. Just to be free from that prison, so I thought, would be the difference. Uh, you're free now. How did you manage to escape? Truly, you are a curious one. You seek to know every detail, it seems. Perhaps there is something else you desire about me, besides my pretty little head, no matter. Let me continue with my story. Well, you look like your fairly attractive little halfling. In prison, I met up with some other inmates. A half-breed loved them by the name of Yzger. Like me, they were looking for a way out. Who were the other inmates? Uh, the others were named Sturge, Zor, and the Prissy Wyvern. We all had our tasks. I was to deal with the go guards. Go on. We all escaped without a hitch. We escaped the most secure prison in all of Waterdeep. Even if you decide to kill me where I stand, I will be remembered for that. Surely by now you can have no further questions. So tell me, have you made a decision as to what you will do with me? Uh... Normally, I'd just rearrest her and bring her back, but this is uh, either die or don't die. And she is a convicted criminal, an escaped convict, and she has no remorse for what she's done, so I've made a decision. It's time to die. Thank you, Daylin. Okay, 
and then we will take Delilah's Staff of the Holy and her ear. And we can turn that in later for a bit of gold. And there is also full plate plus one. Excellent. My pack is too heavy. Does that it is awkward. Do anything for my armor class? No. So we'll keep the white bone armor. And just stow this. And we'll sell that off. Okay. And then before I oh, there's a chest here too. So let's see what's in that one. Uh, a bit of gold. Okay. And before I go. Uh, just like in the first chapter, you can start speaking with your companions. So I'm going to find out what Dalen's going to talk about this uh, ep or this chapter. So Yes? Is there something you need? Uh, first things first, I'd like you to level up. You'd be more useful to me with a little training. My abilities have improved from practice. Give me a few seconds to rest and I'll be ready to show you what I've learned. Okay, so now he'll be more effective against the trolls. Now, let's see what he wants to talk about. Yes? Is there something you need? I just want to talk for a while. My strength is in weapons, not words, Kigro. If we're to be adventuring companions, I'd like to know a little more about you. There is no great secrets about me, Kigro. I am what I am. My father was an orc. My mother was an Uthgart of the Red Tiger tribe. I know nothing of my father. My mother would never speak of him. But I was raised among the Red Tiger tribe, in the customs and traditions of the Uthgart people. I do not know what more I can tell you. Uh, tell me about the Earth Uthgart, about your customs and traditions. We Uthgart are a simple but noble people. We hunt the herds and live off the land. We worship the gods of our ancestors and the totems of our tribes. Some in the cities fear us. They call us bloodthirsty savages. But they are ignorant of our ways. We are fierce warriors of great courage and honor, even if they do not understand. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, what was it like for you growing up? I will not lie. I was never allowed to forget about my father's tainted orc blood. Yet, if the tribe did not embrace me, at least they tolerated me. Like the other young boys of our tribe, I ran and climbed and swam and grew strong. I learned to hunt and fish. I learned the lore of our tribe. And most importantly, I learned the honor of a warrior. With my mother's death, the time came for me to prove myself worthy of the tribe. I left in search of glory and honor in the outside world. To prove my spirit was true, I went to Luskin. Well, that can't possibly be good. Mm. Why did you go to Luskin? It was the closest city to our tribe, though I knew nothing of its foul, rotten character. If I had, I would not have gone. I have tried to forget my time in that accursed city, Kigro. The memories are not pleasant. This is not time to speak of such things, Kigro. We must focus on rooting out the cult responsible for the Wailing Death. Perhaps we can speak of this later, when the time is right. Fair enough. All right, and with that, I'm going to call this an episode. So thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.